to another cook with me. It's been a while for you. It has. Like, I don't even know the last one that I did. I don't know, but it's been a it's long been time. time. I'm curious if you still know how to cook. <laughs> I just made grilled cheese sandwiches for everyone. Come on. Wow, grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, okay. Yeah, I bake them. <laughs> You're a baker. All right, so let me get my baker's hat then. <laughs> there you go. Wow, Chef Ethan is in the house. That's right. <laughs> Let's get to the food. All right, all right. I know why you're here. So today we are making a Sunday supper chicken oh. with mashed potatoes and gravy. And peas. And peas, Emberlin. Oh! Her and Brayden love peas. Seriously. I can have peas, I guess, with mashed potatoes. That's good. But, like, otherwise, I don't know how people can literally eat them with, like, just add it with a spoon, like a spoonful of peas. Yep, no thanks. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't either. Comment down below if you guys like peas. And I'm doing this, I'm doing this cook with me, so get ready. I'm starting it now. Comment down below if you like <laughs> peas. All right, you guys. So, this is another Home Chef meal. We are working with Home Chef. We love them. And we're gonna be bringing you Home Chef meals for the next nine months. So stay tuned. Today we're doing the Sunday Supper Chicken and I'm excited, you guys, because this looks so good. Not even, not even that, but like easy. Yes, easy. <coughs> I think, I think you could handle this. I don't I know. Let's we'll see, see if I can make this meal look like this. Oh, you guys. Does that not look amazing? Oh, oh not me? yeah! <laughs> I knew, you were, I knew you were gonna pull that away. Yeah. That's why I said it. <laughs> anyway, back to the food. Oh my gosh! Let's see if I can make it because you guys know that we always say, home chef meals, regardless of, as to who will make it, because we've had the kids make them and they always end up looking just like this. Yeah, we've had the younger kids, we've had the teenagers. I've made it. I'm curious if this is Danny proof. <laughs> you know, if, if 11 year old can make it, we'll see if Danny can. I accept the challenge. All right, let's do it. You guys, we were thinking like, oh man, this is like such like, so Danny proof, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, first step. Let me cook the chicken. And then she's like, no, 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 step one. <laughs> Okay, oh, that man. is my last help of the night. No. I'm not helping at all whatsoever. Oh, We're gonna man. see if you can do this alone. Don't ask any questions. Just all do right. it. All right, it's, no. I, it's me and Home Chef. We got this. Yeah, you got this. Got I hope. I'm getting, I'm, it. I'm getting you focusing on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this pretty seriously. Yes, you are. All right, step one. Cut the tip. Dice the <laughs> Dice the potatoes. I almost said cut the tomatoes. <laughs> I'm so scared with how this oh, is going to turn man. out. Oh, give me the knife. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dicing them and slicing them. Boom. I'm going to dice them how I like it. I don't know. If this well, is what does the way. direction say? Dice the potatoes. Into? Dice the potatoes. That's it? Yeah. Into what? What? Dice them. <laughs> Cut potatoes into a dice. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you guys. <I'm> oh. <laughs> no, can you tell everybody what it, what it really said? Okay, get the freaking ruler. <laughs> what, is what is this one inch crap? I'm telling no, you. you said cut the potatoes into dice. <laughs> Whoa, one inch dice, plural. <laughs> Dice, die. One inch dice. Oh, I'm dying. I'm serious. What the freaking ruler? I'm not bringing out a ruler for this. Stuff. Whoa, you looked at me like I was crazy when I said into what? And you're like, dice. And I'm like, but what? One, One inch. One inch. Come on, like you measure. <laughs> this is all about measuring our heart. Oh, I'm we so excited to see how this turns out. You guys might be surprised. <laughs> And we all know Danny, he's not very good at reading things all the way through. <laughs> so for these home chef meals, you guys, you do have to actually read the step-by-step -step instructions. Hey, hey. <laughs> Quiet oh my gosh. Set. Quiet on the set. <laughs> so awesome. Potato, potato, tomato. 
You're in a laugh my, my own jokes mood. <laughs> I know. I always am. What are you talking about? <laughs> so we basically put the potatoes, not tomatoes, <laughs> into a pot and we basically fill it with water just above the potatoes and wait for a boil. So we've got the potatoes boiling and I'm gonna now stem the thyme. Ooh. I don't really know how. Stem it, boy, stem it. Some people say you take, okay. Some people say you like a good way of doing it is like you put it through kind of like a sifter, uh huh, and then you like run it through and wow. it pulls it off. But uh, these are these are like you know what I kind of don't know much about it because I always just buy the shakeable spices. Smells stinking good though. So good. That's what is awesome though about Home Chef. It's like all fresh ingredients. Yeah. Oh, it does smell good though. Woo -wee. So Woo -wee. We're gonna get this. And then we're gonna um, peel and shave the. Uh, what are you gonna shave it with? A razor? The shallot. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> so now that we've got those stemmed, we're gonna go ahead with the shallot, and then we're gonna peel it, and then we're gonna uh, have it, and then we're gonna thinly slice it, and then um, yeah, so we'll get that going right now. crying do you smell it oh yeah really yeah you don't no I am shallot proof baby. oh yeah. shallot proof comment down below if you're shallot proof oh my gosh man I just spit all over the place wow all over the food no oh but everywhere else <laughs> What's wrong, babe? Don't cry. About... How much you love me? Yeah, I no, knew I just, it. I just <laughs> it burns! <laughs> I thought you were shallot proof. Let's go! You're a liar! Oh, serious. <laughs> Don't cry for me, Argentina. What the heck is this thing? It's a shallot. Oh my gosh. Danny is not shallot proof, you guys. <laughs> Take it back. You're not shallow proof. Well, actually, I am. They just they just no. tend to bring out the um, just the emotion in me. <laughs> oh sensitive gosh. side. You know, it's all right, guys, to be sensitive sometimes. I just for me, it just tends to come out more when I'm cutting shallots. <laughs> Good to know. I'll bring the shallots out more. Woo -wee. Woo -wee. All right. So I'm gonna take these over and strain drain the pot. And um, before I do that, I just want to remind you guys, if you guys are interested in Home Chef, make sure to use our code Danny and Tina 30 for your first order. You got thirty dollars off your first order. Home Chef has made our life so much more convenient, especially on Sundays. You oh guys, my we gosh. don't go out shopping on Sundays. And how many times do you start cooking and do you say, Oh my goodness, I don't have this? Yep. And Home Chef, aside from our olive oil, literally provides all of the ingredients that you're gonna need to the T. Yeah, like measured out completely how it, like as much as you need so you're not wasting. You guys have heard this all before. It's seriously amazing. It has yes. made our life so much more convenient and we absolutely love it, you guys. It's so worth it. Yeah, so at this one also, I'm. it's also convenient. It's also like, it's also called the Sunday Chicken Supper and that's exactly when we usually cook our home chef meals is on Sunday. Whoa, Sunday! <laughs> As you can see, you guys, it's like a trip to the spa. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add half the butter, it says. So we have six total, so I'm gonna add three. And then I'm gonna add all of the sour cream here and then we're gonna mash it up with the meat masher. Oh, I love potatoes. Oh man, so good. And you know what, I was really impressed, you guys, if you haven't seen that video, I don't know which one it was, but with Home Chef, we uh, made the cauliflower mashed potatoes. Oh, yes. They were delicious. Amazingly. Guys. Amazing, so there's three of those. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these packets of sour cream. 
official one. And I don't know if you guys know, but on the on the Home Chef like cooking card, I'm calling it, it tells you if it takes about 30 to 40 minutes, cook it within five days of receiving it, and then this is an intermediate cooking level. Oh, so, so yeah, this is right. it. Wow, right. Inter so, intermediate. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't start telling me 11 year olds can do it because you know what? They, they can. Probably, they probably had the easy. <laughs> they actually had hard. And they knew the difference between a tomato and a potato. <laughs> Just kidding, you're doing I awesome. I cannot wait to get that meat. You're nitro. killing it. This is Danny proof, full proof. All right, Danielson. All right, let's, let's oh, I need, sorry, ooh, thank ooh. goodness for old chef. Because I need quarter teaspoon of salt. Ooh, measure with love, baby. Measure with my heart, quarter teaspoon of salt, boom. <laughs> Boom, that's enough, yeah? All right, so now we're gonna take the meat masher and mash these babies up, oh. up, 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 I think I could survive off mashed potatoes. I oh, love, I or baked potatoes, or twice baked potatoes. <laughs> I almost say tomatoes again. Oh. oh! Oh, babe, you're making some mashed potatoes. I can't wait till you do this for Thanksgiving. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Next year I'm cooking I'm cooking Thanksgiving. Do it, do it. Home chef, do you have a Thanksgiving meal <laughs> recipe? Please send it my way. I'm sure they do. <laughs> All right. All right. So, you know, I was just talking to Tina and I was like, you know what? I'm being pretty serious. How many of you would, if like Home Chef had like a, a Thanksgiving box with a turkey or ham, and all of the ingredients to make it. That would be so meal. cool. And then just come out and boom. Home Chef, I'm giving you an idea. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> I would order it, especially if Tina's throwing Thanksgiving dinner on me next year. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna order my box. That would be amazing, because you know how hard it is to go out and shop for all those ingredients yeah. for Thanksgiving? And if you had it where you could select the items that you wanted, oh my gosh, oh. that would be bomb. Amazing, <laughs> bomb.com. All right, let's see if it happens. But in the meantime, Head on over to Home Chef and get your family dinner meals. And you guys, you will start to bring in different tastes, different flavors into your home that you would not normally do. Yeah, it seriously gives me so many ideas for yes. like different things that we don't normally make. So, yeah, and there's, awesome. there's times now where we buy the potatoes because we learned how to make them here from Home Chef's meals. We buy the potatoes separately and just make the potatoes. Yeah. So good. So good. So as you can see, we've got the chicken in. We put down some olive oil and then we added the chicken. We also patted down the chicken like to a pat dry and um, wash and pat, baby. Wash and pat, baby. So getting this all ready, you guys. It's already smelling so good. So good. And keep in mind, like whenever we film the cooking. It always seems like it takes longer than it actually should because we're stopping and talking. We, especially in our cook with these, we like to banter a bit, go back and forth. But literally this meal is like a 30 to 40 minute meal. And that's yeah. like easy peasy. Can't lettuce. beat that. Boom shakalaka. Oh, whoa. Bringing back the boom shakalaka, baby. That's right. I like it. Shoot. You guys, and I love their meat. We have never had an issue with Home Chef's meat. Like it's not fatty, it's not gross. Like it's just nice, fresh meat. So as the chicken's cooking, we're going to go ahead and get started on making the gravy. So I've added about a half cup of water and and then we're going to add, then we're going to add the cooking wine. Look how cute those little containers are. Yeah. So we're going to add the cooking wine. Oh. Just going to keep adding the wine. Woo wee. All right. Then we're going to add the demi glaze, demi -glaze and cornstarch. Which is so nice. Like look at the little packets. Boom. All right, so adding this all up, you guys, I'm learning. I don't know what demi glace is. I don't know what it what it's made up of. Do you? Mm, nope. Nope, not at all. Probably demi more. Contains milk and sulfites. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Right up Tina's alley. Then we're oh. gonna go ahead and add the um, corn starch. Corn starch, yo. Corn starch, yo. Oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, I have yeah. no doubt in my mind. That well, we've never had a home chef meal that hasn't been good. All right, got this going on medium heat. We're going to add some peas, which Braden and Emberlin love. Yep. To be honest, normally we probably would exclude this from the meal. If I know. It weren't for them. 
and uh, I'm gonna add some olive oil, gonna add a little bit of salt and get this going. We've got the gravy started and then we're gonna just put it all together. Yeah, we got the chicken still going, we've got the potatoes pretty much done. You know, that's what... <laughs> if you guys remember in the video of Danny's mom and me, both said our pet peeve is Danny's clapping in the morning. I don't know why. Oh, it's so annoying. So annoying. <laughs> oh, Brayden agrees, so annoying. And he does it because he knows it annoys. All right, adding uh, about two teaspoons of olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and add the shallots. All right, gonna, oh my mama. <laughs> Where'd the peas go? Where'd the peas go? Probably could have used the flat pan, but that's okay. Yeah, we should have. It did show that in the picture, you guys, so there you go, that's what happened. <laughs> so we're gonna add these in, and then we're gonna add a little bit of water, and then kind of stir it around, let that water evaporate. And then we're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. Down Ooh. the home stretch. Chicken's almost done. All right, so we moved it in, we took it out of the little, the deeper pan and into this one, so that way it just cooks a little bit better, you guys. It looks so pretty. I don't even like peas. Serious. Look at this chicken, you guys. Golden brown, oh man. So comment down below and let us know about peas. If you don't like them, do you not like the taste or do you not like the texture? Because mm, that is a factor. That is and a factor. I feel like with these shallots, like it might bring out a different flavor with the salt and pepper mixed in. It might bring out a different flavor in the peas. Yeah, that's true. Hey. All right, it's time for the time. Oh, wow, dad jokes. Oh. <laughs> Comment down below if you want dad jokes number three. Oh yeah, that's the best. All right, so we took it out, we took the chicken out, put it here, and we're gonna tent it with foil. That's what the home chef instructions recommend. So I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Sure, why not? Sure, works for me. Looks, Looks for great, you. babe. You're doing a great job. Thanks. So we're gonna put this uh, gravy mix into the um, chicken the uh, chicken pan. Woo! Oh man, things just got real up in here, up in here. All right, so we gotta cook it in here until it comes to a boil. It's boiling. <laughs> so we're gonna cook it in here until it gets to a boil. We'll let it sit in a little longer, and then we're gonna remove it from the pan and add the remaining butter. And oh. then we are good to go. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, it does. Wow. Danny's stirring vigorously. Vigorously. Oh, never mind. I'm going to do it my left hand, so my steps. Oh my gosh. Cheater. Ch -ch -ch Cheater. I'll balance it out. I had to stop for a second to make sure my socks were matching. Oh my gosh. Ooh, awesome. Check that out, you guys. It smells so good. It smells delish. Just going to drizzle that over the uh, mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. All right, so now we're adding the remaining butter. So three little uh, cubes. There it is, Boom. there it is. You guys, I've never made anything like this at all. And so this is new. It's actually, uh, actually builds my confidence a little wow, bit. Wow, babe. It makes me feel like I can, uh, I can um, contribute to the family a little bit more. Ooh. So thank you, Home Chef, for making me feel a little more like a man. Wow, wow. Oh, look at that. Okay, that looks so delish. No joke. So what we're gonna do is we'll cook this up, we'll plate it. Tina and I will try it, and I'm probably gonna have like maybe either Emberlin or maybe Emberlin and Braden try it because I know the other kids aren't too big, they're not fans of peas. So we're gonna let the two who I know like peas try it so they'll get a good taste of the entire meal. Oh, Danny's feeling pretty proud of himself. I'm gonna be honest. Tina no, yeah, you did. you're not supposed to tell. No, I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> okay, fine. So she took the chicken out of the pan. <laughs> True, I did do that. So, but you guys, yeah, this is awesome. Let's see I the picture. Let's see the picture. Ooh, That's did pretty. Did it measure up? Oh. Did it measure up? Let's Ready see. for the ultimate reveal? Da 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 da. da. <laughs> guys, That's it's pretty close. Pretty legit right there. Emily, you want to try that? Yes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try it out. Chicken first. Oh, God. I don't know about you, but I like taking the chicken and kind of swiping it into the, the mashed potatoes. Sure. Do it however you want. Wow, that's really good. Good? Mm. You guys, 
Come on. That's so good. This is a Neverland kind of meal. Ooh. Mashed potatoes you like, chicken you like, and peas you like. All right, get in there, Emberlin. Oh yeah, you gotta try the peas. Good. Yeah. It's like peas. I'm not a huge fan, but they're good. It's good with this combo. All right, little Miss Emberlin is gonna have a bite. Let's see. Ooh, dip it in the mashed potatoes. Yummy. Oh. You, you try the mashed potatoes? Yep. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> she likes it. Now you gotta go for those peas, girl. Good too? <laughs> that look on your face is like, says it all. Is someone gonna eat all their dinner? <laughs> <laughs> we know she is. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Another awesome meal with Home Chef. We would have Tina taste it, but Emberlyn took the plate. It's gone. Yeah, seriously. We got to plate up all the other kids for dinner. And don't forget about the um, discount code, you guys. If yeah. you're going to try this out, I always say that if you want to try this out, now is the time because you get $30 off your purchase, your first meal. So Danny and Tina, 30 is the code. And we'll leave it all in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. Let us know what you get. And if you haven't seen any of our other uh, Home Chef Cook With Me's, we'll link some of those down below just so you can see the variety of the meals that yes. they have, how easy they are. We'll have the kids cook off. And stay tuned because coming up on the next one we do, we are going to do a, I think we'll do a family cook off. Oh. Mom's team versus dad's team. I like it. You guys comment down below what teams you want, how you guys want to see the teams made. Yeah. And what your recommendation is. And it'll be Danny, Tina, and you guys pick the team. So. Oh, I like it. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. And don't forget. Choose, choose your day. day.